All right, guys, here it is. This is the iGUS Rebel six axis robotic arm. Just for some background, for those of you who have not been following the project, this robot arm is controlled by a Raspberry Pi with a bunch of code that I wrote um, from scratch using JavaScript. It controls the arm uh, via a CAN network. There's only a couple wires coming out of the robot, 24 volt positive, 24 volt negative. There's a five volt uh, connection to power all the circuit boards in there, and then CAN high and low. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you through and show you this a puppy in action, again using the JavaScript control software on that Raspberry Pi and some web-based control software, which I have other videos on. And it's the same web-based control software that I used to control the AR robot. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to uh, reset all the errors on the robot um, and I'm going to enable all of the joints. These all have to be sent a can command to enable all the joints. Um, so all the joints are now enabled. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make it so that there's no acceleration. I'm going to shut acceleration off and I'm going to send this um, to a position. So what do I mean by acceleration is turned off? So you can see they went pretty quick there. I'm going to go ahead and send it home. It's just boom. It's going to send it. It's going to go to that location, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go back and I'm going to toggle on acceleration deceleration. And I'm going to send the robot to the exact same position. But this time, you can see it has this slow ramp up and slow ramp down, right? So it's a little more elegant and eloquent in its movements. What's really cool about this uh, is that this is all using um, you know, my own kinematics and JavaScript software. iGUS actually has their own software that you can uh, use. The software is free, but you need their control box. Um, and this arm was about, uh, you know, $5,000 for the open source variant. For the other version, it's around $7,000. So you're paying that extra $2,000 to have their control interface. But the open source version, if you are able to control all the different joints, uh, works pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and reconnect to that robot. And I am going to send it to this position. And again, this is with acceleration turned on. So you can see this is like picking something up, right? So what I can actually do is I can say, okay, that's cool, but what if we wanted to pick something up that's a little bit closer to ourselves? Let's say we wanted to go like, you know, 35 centimeters in the X. Um, so you can see it moved backwards a little bit. So this is the X direction in my case. That is the positive Y, and then this is positive Z. So technically speaking, I could also say, what if I wanted to bump that over to like negative 15 um, on the Y? So now it's going to pick something up over here. So once again, let's go ahead and click in here, type a negative, and let's send it over here. And there you have it. So it's going to go back and forth. Um, I can go ahead and use my arrow keys um, to actually control the location of the robot. So let's say I want to move it down on the Z a little bit. I can go ahead and do that. And let's say I want to send it back home. Boom, it's back home. And just for shits, I'll shut off acceleration. So that's it without the acceleration. And let's go ahead and send it back home without the acceleration. So you can see without the acceleration, it's a little more jerky. Uh, I want to remind everyone this is actually version one of the Rebel robot, they're gonna come out with other versions. I say version one because it's the first version I've seen, the first version I have received. But I do know they're working on new updated versions of these joints, uh, and when they come out with them, uh, I'll keep you guys updated, I'll give you guys more content videos, and uh, maybe I'll get myself access to a second arm with the updated joints. But in order to get slightly better um, you know, movements, you know, enabling acceleration you know, seems to stop the jerkiness uh, of the robot, which you can see here. And I'll go ahead and send that to home once again. Um, so you can see that there's no, there's no huge jerk at the end when I have acceleration and deceleration. All right, guys, so here's the UI. You can see the simulated robot on the screen here. Um, currently, I'm not connected to a robot, so I can go ahead and like move this around as I normally could, um, send it to a location, uh, or I can reset that to its original position. 
Uh, but now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start the control software on the Raspberry Pi. And once I do that, you can see that I now have Robot 1 connected and I can select that robot to control. When I select that robot on the right hand side, you can see J0 through 5, which is joint 1 through 6, shown here with the amperage, the velocity, actual velocity, uh, voltage, you can see. Um, so some of these parameters are actually not correct at the moment, but I'll update those. Um, and also you can see um, the current position. So right now, because I have all of the motors um, you know, not enabled, I'm going to go ahead and run the two commands I need to run to enable those. So the first thing we need to do is we need to actually uh, hit this button, which will reset each uh, motor. And when we do that, you should see down in the error code section here, you should see the motor not enabled flag. The motor not enabled flag, if we see that on every single motor, lets us know that the motor is ready to be enabled. If I click this unlock button in the upper corner here, you can see that slowly each motor will become enabled. You can see the enabled flag got set to yes here. You can see the uh, information updating in the UI here, which again, I want to remind you, some of it isn't accurate at the moment. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send this robot to a position in space. So I'm going to send that to a position in space the robot moved to that position. Um, I can go ahead and use my arrow keys to control the robot position. So I use my arrow key to move it to that position. Um, and if I want to, I can actually go back and send it to another location. This time, let's go to like negative 20 on the Y and let's send that to that location. If I wanted to, I could also send that home with acceleration enabled and you can see that it cruises to that position more eloquently in that way as well. If I want, I can also grab each individual joint and move it by certain degrees of movement. So you can see here, I'm moving joint one by a single degree. I can do that to any of the joints. There's still a lot of work to be done on this project, but for now, here's some footage of the iGUS moving around to different positions in space. It's kind of fun to watch, and I really love how this project's going. <laughs> Thank you.